All right. All right. So the prompt that we're going to break down together, because I want you guys to be more independent when you are reading and writing, um, is this one up here. The climax of the story is when the central conflict or rising action is solved. Analyze how plot and theme, and I want to put theme in a different color, Relate to one another in Thank You, Ma'am by Langston Hughes. Use evidence from the text to support your answer. So take a look. Plot and theme. There's our thesis responding to the prompt. Notice how these three are the same color. Plot and theme. Relate to one another in Thank You, Ma'am. When Roger admits to being ashamed. So there's one. So it has to do with shame. Both characters discuss their lives. It has to do with life. And the climax when Mrs. Beulah Gates gifts Roger the money for the shoes he desired, right? It goes from trying to steal her purse to getting a gift, right? So trust. Plot and theme relate to one another in Thank You, Man by Langston Hughes when Roger admits to being ashamed. All right, so there's theme. We got plot again. Look how often this writer mentions what's in the prompt. Why? Because the TDA shows that you understand the prompt and understand the story. So you're on slide 45 now. Go ahead to slide 46. What we have over here are some directions. Take a listen. Pick a detail from the grid for context or background for the quotations on the left. Describe your chosen details. All right, so here's our prompt again. The climax in the story is when a central conflict or rising action is solved. Analyze how plot and theme relate to one another in Thank You, Man by License Hughes. Use evidence. So we are going to start with this red sentence starter down there. The author discusses. The author discusses. You got it? Okay. Now here are the different parts of the story. The beginning, when Roger tries to take her purse. The next, when she drags him back to the house. Next, where she insists that he wash his face and wash up. When she finds out 1D that he wanted those blue suede shoes, those look good. 1E, when she gives him ham and lima beans as a meal. And then 1F, when she ultimately gives him the money for the shoes, right? She still held him tightly, but she bent down enough to permit him to scoop and pick up her purse. Then she said, now, ain't you ashamed of yourself? Firmly gripped by his shirt front, the boy said, yes. So I think this is all 1A. We, there's nothing about 1B, 1C, D, E, or F. So I'm going to say what's going on in this picture. The author discusses how Roger tries to steal Miss Eula Gates Washington Jones's purse. He is not successful and is thrown to the ground. And he is held by her. Right? That is what's called context. The author discusses how Roger tries to steal Mrs. Peele Gates. Why? It leads up to this green quote right here. So go back to 45, please. The conflict that starts the story off is when Roger tries to steal Mrs. Jones' purse, but is grabbed and trapped instead. A little bit shorter, but still does the job, right? And then that context leads up, and I'd like to see a little stare real quick. Leads up to the quotation. And then afterwards, we have our explanation where they break it down, right? How do you do that? Well, we got our topic sentence. We got our context we just wrote. And then here's the quotation here. When you follow a quotation, you do with this noun verb, like you see right there. And then you move on to an if and then, and then important. All right, let's, let's take a look. She still bent, she still held him tightly. She bent down enough to permit him to stoop and pick up her purse. Then she said, now, ain't you ashamed of yourself? Firmly gripped by a shirt front, the boy said, yes. All right, so this, for me, they're going back and forth. So I'm going to say conversation is going to be my noun, right? There's the noun. Conversation is the noun, shows, and what do I want to say? Well, I want to say that plot 
and theme relate to one another in the story. So this conversation shows how plot, in this case, conflict, shows, shows plot, in this case, conflict, is connected to shame. Roger realizes he ought to be ashamed of himself for picking on an old lady and then being bested by her. Right? Now, I've got an if and then. Take a look at this one. Here's the quote right down here. Right? This is on slide 47. Now, ain't you ashamed of yourself? Firmly gripped by his shirt front, the boy said, yes, I'm. This admission deepens the conflict, right? So they're still talking about uh, plot and theme. If the theme were just about not stealing, then there would be no need for the characters to discuss shame, right? If it's just don't break the law, well, you know, we don't need to worry about shame. Right? The law isn't about shame. The law is about enforcing the rules and, and norms of the society. Right? Uh, the important lesson of forgiveness and grace can be discovered along this line of conflict of shame and pride. And then, boom, here's the paragraph when it's all put together that we broke down the other day. And you can take a screenshot now if you think that'd be useful. All right, all right, go get them. Write that essay, right? So now we're over here, and we've got to take what we put here, and we can turn it into a paragraph. Now, as it turns out, this is all building up to the paragraph you already did, right? But you did get a chance to take a look at a thesis that you could use, all right? And that thesis, ooh, whoopsie daisy, that thesis is right here at the top, right? When uh, plot and theme relate to one another, thank you, man, by Langston Hughes, when Roger admits to being ashamed, both characters discuss their lives in the climax of Mrs. Beulah Gates, Washington Jones, gifts Roger the money for the shoes he desired. Right? There's your whole thesis. Here's an example body paragraph. And you need to make sure that you've got five total by the end of this. Five total by the end of this. Five total paragraphs. See how it says it right there? Five paragraph essay. Then you got to make sure that you got the vocaroo. How do you do that? You click this. You record that. Blah, 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 blah. You read what you have there. Plot and theme and thank you, man, by Langston Hughes and the rest of the paragraphs. Then you stop it, save and share copy and paste, boom, all done. Okay, that's worth 25 points, by the way, so make sure you do it.